The metal sound of a grain scoop echoes through the barn. A bucket fills with golden oats, and every horse nearby perks its ears. To many, that sound means energy, strength, and tradition, the feed of champions. But as science advances, one question keeps returning to stables around the world. Is oats really good for horses, or have we been feeding it wrong all along? Today, we'll separate myth from fact. You'll discover when oats help a horse thrive, when they can cause harm, and how the way you feed them, whole, crimped, or rolled, makes all the difference. For centuries, oats have been the heartbeat of horsepower. From war horses pulling armor to race horses flying down tracks, this small grain has fueled big dreams. It's easy to see why oats are rich in carbohydrates, moderate in protein, and naturally palatable. Each oat kernel carries a concentrated source of energy, about 50% starch, 10% protein, and a touch of fat and fiber. And compared to corn or barley, oats have a softer starch structure making them easier to digest in the horse's small intestine. But there's more to this story. Oats are not just about calories, they're about control. How you feed them and to which horse can make the difference between steady energy and explosive behavior. When a horse eats oats, the starch breaks down mainly in the small intestine. If digestion is efficient, the energy is released gradually into the bloodstream giving the horse vitality without excess agitation. However, if a horse receives too much at once, or if the digestive system is overwhelmed, undigested starch passes into the hindgut, where bacteria ferment it rapidly. This fermentation can create lactic acid, disturb the gut's balance, and lead to problems like colic or laminitis. That's why oats are not good or bad on their own. The key is how they fit into the entire diet. A horse that eats constant forage stays hydrated and receives oats in moderate portions that digest them efficiently. But a horse with long fasting intervals or low fiber intake can experience spikes in acidity and behavior changes. Oats are an energy bomb, and energy without balance is trouble. Horses that don't burn enough of that fuel, such as those kept in stalls or used for light work, can become restless, hot-tempered, or even anxious. Too much starch also affects the gut microbiome, feeding bacteria that produce gas and acid. Over time, that imbalance can cause digestive stress, loose stools, or even behavioral symptoms that look like nervousness but are actually discomfort. That's why oats, despite their rich tradition, are not suitable for every horse in equal measure. They can be a perfect feed for high-performance athletes, but overwhelming for sedentary or easy keeper types. Here's something few owners realize. The same oats can behave completely differently depending on their form. Whole oats are the most natural version. Each kernel retains its husk, forcing the horse to chew thoroughly. This extended chewing stimulates saliva production, which helps neutralize stomach acid. Whole oats are great for young or healthy horses with strong teeth and good digestion. However, there's one important detail that many overlook. In this natural form, some horses, especially those that eat too fast or don't chew properly, may swallow a portion of the grain's whole. When that happens, the oats can pass through the entire digestive tract without being broken down or absorbed, appearing in the manure almost the same way they went in. In other words, part of the grain's nutrients is simply lost, and the body doesn't benefit. So even though whole oats encourage natural chewing, they're not always the most efficient choice for every horse particularly for those with dental wear or quick eating habits. Crimped or rolled oats, on the other hand, are lightly crushed or flattened to break the outer husk. This process makes the starch more accessible and easier to digest, ideal for older horses, horses with dental wear, or those recovering from illness. Crimped oats provide quick energy without overloading the gut. But there's another small detail worth mentioning. Rolled oats create a fine powdery dust especially when handled or stored in dry environments. Anyone who has poured a bucket of rolled oats knows that the dust can cling to the skin and cause itching. While there's limited research on whether this dust irritates the horse's airways, it's well known that fine particles suspended in the air can bother sensitive horses or those with respiratory issues. That's why it's always recommended to store and feed oats in well-ventilated areas, or even slightly moisten them before serving to reduce airborne dust. 
Some caretakers go one step further and soak oats in water before feeding. This is a long-standing stable practice, especially useful in hot climates or when feeding crimped oats. Soaking softens the grain, improves palatability, and nearly eliminates dust, which benefits horses with mild respiratory sensitivity. It also helps older horses chew and digest more comfortably. However, this method comes with a few important precautions. If the oats soak for too long, especially in warm weather, Fermentation can begin within a few hours, producing sour odors and harmful acids that irritate the digestive tract. Ideally, oats should soak for no more than two to three hours and always in clean, fresh water. The soaking water should be discarded after feeding, since it contains residues and minerals that leach out of the grain. Prolonged soaking can also cause slight nutrient loss, particularly of soluble minerals like potassium and sodium, a small but notable effect. In short, soaking oats can be a very good practice when done carefully. It reduces dust, softens texture, and adds moisture to the feed. But it should be treated as a fresh preparation, not a storage method. A little attention to hygiene and timing makes all the difference. There's also steamed or micronized oats, processed under heat to further increase digestibility. These are excellent for horses that need easily available energy but have sensitive stomachs. However, because heat-treated oats release sugars more rapidly, they can trigger sharper energy peaks, which may not be ideal for very spirited horses. And whatever form you choose, remember, any change in texture or preparation should always happen gradually. A sudden switch from whole to rolled or from dry to soaked can alter fermentation patterns inside the gut. Give your horse's microbiota time to adapt. That's the key to keeping the system stable and the digestion smooth. Here's the twist. Oats can be beneficial even for older horses, as long as they're prepared correctly. Many senior horses struggle with chewing coarse hay or maintaining weight. Rolled or steamed oats can provide gentle calories and stimulate appetite, offering energy without overwhelming their system. For horses in training or competition, Oats remain one of the most efficient fuels, delivering glycogen for muscle recovery while being easier to digest than corn. The key is to pair them with consistent roughage, adequate water, and a balanced mineral source such as salt and calcium to offset the phosphorus content of the grain. There are situations where oats should be used carefully. Horses prone to laminitis, metabolic syndrome, or insulin resistance may react poorly to starch-rich grains. For them, energy should come primarily from fat and fiber sources, like beet pulp, alfalfa, or stabilized rice bran. Also, horses that live mostly in pasture or have naturally high energy may not need oats at all. For them, extra starch is just excess fuel and can easily turn into behavioral tension or digestive heat. It's not that oats are dangerous, it's that they're powerful. And like all powerful things, they need to be handled with precision. At the end of the day, oats are neither heroes nor villains. They are a tool, one that must be used with understanding. For the right horse at the right time and in the right form, oats can be the perfect complement to a balanced diet. But the real secret lies in observation. Watch your horse's eyes, his attitude, his manure, his performance. The body speaks long before the problem appears. The best diet is the one that respects individuality the diet that listens before it feeds. If you found this video helpful and learned something new about feeding your horse, please like this video and subscribe to Inside Horses. It helps YouTube recognize that this content matters and share it with more horse lovers around the world. Tell us in the comments. Do you feed oats to your horse? Whole crimped or rolled? Have you noticed any difference in energy or behavior? Your experience might help others find the perfect balance too.